Hello, friends and neighbors. Welcome to another production of the program. Here we are on TV once again Every day, turn on the machines and live forever. Uh, it's Tuesday, and I made it all the way back around here to Tuesday. Who would have thought that I could have made it this long? I don't need to see. I'm saying these things. Today is Tuesday. I'm gonna go look over here, be uh, like relax and live my life. Like what am I doing? Who am I seeing? Who are we? Who am I? You know, other other shows they got uh, things where they tell you what you're doing, but I do the whole thing. Right here, you got no no control room, nothing like that. Maybe we're gonna go back to TCTV someday, have a control room, people talking in the other room, and and your one one people in one room, some things in the other room, talking into mics, dirty mics, living a life, getting fighting the white man virus, and uh, trying to live. Today's Tuesday, it's three o'clock. Yesterday, I did the program. Monday at uh, about 8.45 with uh, James and Heather. James is getting crazy at a hotel. Heather's hanging out. Um, the uh, I sent the files around, ready. I think I'm doing the production, in, or some of it now. So I guess Freddie helped me with this thing. But uh, I'm going to be sending those episodes from here right to, you, right to there, TCTV. Thank you. They're doing a good job. You can call the number 3-3-6-0-3-6-4-3-4, or you can get on the Meet, Google Meet. It's uh, GoodbyeShipBeam.com. Press the um the video phone. Get on the video phone, they call it. Uh, yeah, 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 Monday, after the program yesterday, I... Uh, read the book I, re start, I started reading the autobiography of Malcolm X because my brother maybe we should call him told me to uh, told me called me Kenny X the other day because I was doing all that stuff so now I'm reading the bio autobiography and it's so far pretty good maybe I'm reading things I have a little book club I did tell yellow fellow that I wanted to have a book club and he's over there should we call my brother? Kick it off. Call him. Good, the phones are still working. One of these days, I think the phones are just going to stop working. And what are we going to do at that point? What do we do then? What do we do? Do a do. Hello. Oh. Hello. Laura, I'm calling Andrew. Hello, this is Ty on the phone. Hi. Name and number. Hello, Andrew. Hello. It's the program. We're on TV. How are ya? Doing good. How you doing? Good. What are you doing? Uh, running the car with the garage, uh, closed. Uh-oh, you're killing your suicide? Yep. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't do that. Just kidding, it's open. Uh, it's, uh, you're running the the car with the garage open, though? You should probably take the car out of the garage. You think so? Yeah. I'm watching it pouring right out. I was watching, I was thinking about it. I would, I would still take the car out of the garage. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if it's running, you might as well drive around the block. Yeah, well, my car is parked behind it. Yeah, well, I, <laughs> I don't know. I think I'm just gonna drive Grandma's car for the next week. Yeah, that's a good idea. Um, so I, uh, I didn't run it for too long, and apparently the battery died. Oh no, it, now it's working? No, dad, dad bought a, uh, he got a battery thing. Yeah. A charger. 
that can also charge your battery for your car. Well. And I tested it out and it worked. Oh, well, that's good, but now it's running. <laughs> yeah. Don't tell dad. <laughs> well, well, you have to pick me up and uh, let's see, today is, like, I want to be fully vaccinated. Today is the, um, what, what day is it? The 30th? One, almost about one week later. So, yeah. next week, I don't know. I think, are we, do you feel like we're both mostly vaccinated? You can pick me up anyway. Sure. Today, I don't know. Is it like, is it foolish to go out one week before you're fully vaccinated and just pretend? Or just... It's pretty it safe. Anymore. I'm, I feel like pretty good about it. Uh, next week though, you come pick me up, maybe next Tuesday. Doesn't really matter. Well, alright. Next Tuesday, you come pick me up and we'll go, go to the store. Okay. Let's go to uh, Paldo World. Yeah, next Tuesday, even though it's one day, technically one day shy of the day, but too bad. Going. I got yours on a Wednesday. I got mine on a Wednesday, but I'm going to go to Paldo World on a Tuesday. And then I'm going to, what, get pick up the virus at the end of it? I don't think so. Yeah, I know. I've been going out all this time. What? <laughs> what? A little bit. Not much. Uh, well, Most people do. What? I'm not afraid to go shopping ever. Yeah, I haven't been shopping. I want to go to Paldo. I go shopping like three times a week. I want to go to Paldo World. I want to go to Shinshin. Yeah. I want to get a pan. It's like Asian, uh, I don't know, uh... Walmart? Kind of? No. You like groceries? Like Shopco? Yeah, Shopco. Remember that place? Yeah, Shopco. Well, Shopco, yeah, Shopco or, um, like Big Lots, maybe. Big Lots, yeah. Yeah. I guess it is like Big Lots. Like, yeah, it's like, what What do they sell at Big Lots? Like, why would you ever go to Big Lots? I'm kind of like always thinking about, I'm not always thinking, yeah. I'm thinking about it, like, what? who goes to Big Lots? Like, maybe like, grocery outlet or something? I don't know how it works. I don't know. <laughs> I don't go to Big Lots. Big Lots is a grocery outlet for things? I think. Maybe. Like liquidation? Yeah. Is it? Is that right? I don't know, but grocery outlet also has random things. Yeah, I like the grocery outlets things. Maybe I should go to grocery outlet too. Let's go there too. We'll go let's go shopping. Yeah. We'll go to we can go to um B and I. Yeah. B and I open? I don't know. I went to yeah, last time I went out to a store was in March. Last March of twenty twenty. And I went to the wow. dollar store and to grocery outlet over there on the west side on the bus. And everybody was panicking about toilet paper. Yeah. Um, yeah, so we'll go next Tuesday. Today's Tuesday. Next Tuesday we'll go. Okay. Take grandma's car to, to, to exercise the car. Mm-hmm. Um, on... Uh, I uh, I watched uh, <laughs> the Justice League movie. Yeah. It's really huh? It's long, but it's good, huh? Uh, it's like dumb. It's d really dumb. Yeah. I don't know. I don't think it's good. It's fine. Just okay. I like the end of it. The very end? Yeah. Not the very end. Like the part where the Flash goes b back in time, or whatever. <laughs> I don't know about that, but um, how come the really? bat? This is what my main takeaway from it was when the bad guy shows up, you know. Um, and then oh, yeah. he goes, "I'm they, here." They, they added, what? They added in a whole new villain. So he shows up though, and he goes, "I'm here for fear and evil." Yeah. You know, like that's this. That's his, like, it's like, hey, what are you doing? Why is the bad guy doing stuff? And he's like, I'm here for fear. I'm here to cause fear. <laughs> you know, like, immediately. <laughs> I forgot that that movie kind of had the same plot as Infinity War. 
Well, there's some guy showing up to, to try to take over the world. But he's like trying to collect boxes in this one. <laughs> trying to collect boxes, trying to collect things. Yeah. We gotta get all those boxes. <laughs> it's like a video game, but isn't that kind of like like the guy should be like, I need like if I don't kill everybody, my family will die, you know, mm. or something like that. Or well, yeah, what what was that guy's Steppenwolf's motivation? He's bad. He just shows up and he's like. I like fear. <laughs> <laughs> I, I am here to. What did you say? I want to cause death. Like, oh, <laughs> you do? <laughs> like, that's like his whole thing. He's just like showing up and he's just like, I like death just because for no reason, real reason. <laughs> kind of badass, I guess. You know, you want you want them. I mean, that's pretty evil. That's I mean, pretty, it's, pretty it's, it's definitely obvious. evil, but, like, what are they going to, like... Oh, in there, you know? <laughs> it's yeah, like, who should I be uh, hating? Oh, that guy. Yeah. He doesn't like us. Hey, I'm bad guy. Ah, he just so basically... He's not he shows, very complex. He just shows up, he's like, I'm the bad guy. Ha, 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 ha. You know? He's not very <laughs> complex. Superman is just, like, a guy who can just kill everybody. Yeah, Superman's dumb. That guy's dumb. The bad guy was dumb. It was, the movie was dumb as hell. I watched Cyborg, it. Like, Cyborg was like the star of the movie, and they cut him out in the original. I, I didn't see the original. I didn't either. I watched, there's a half in the bag that's an hour long, and they talk about it. I watched uh, the whole the movie in parts, though, because it was parts for some reason. Yeah. Like, chapter one. I was like, oh, I can, now I can stop. So I watched the movie over like three days. You should... Watch the half in the bag. They analyze both of them. Mm. <laughs> oh, I'm bad guy. Like he shows, he goes, and then he's like the death. He wants like the 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 anti life. I'm I want anti life. Yeah. Yeah. And then Superman. Superman's crazy. And then he's like <laughs> he's like hanging out. And then he's like, hey, I, I remember everything. <laughs> Nothing happens. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Just like all this uh, stuff. He would blow us ass to tell him what happened or something. A bunch of stuff just, you know, he's just like, he's just like oh yeah, right. this worked out. Like, it's like the, if you, if you, like a lot of mo other movies, if you like kind of like, like b hit your head against the wall and watch explosions and punching and stuff, it's pretty fun. But if you yeah. think about anything, don't think. Hey, I haven't watched that uh, original Superman movie in a long time. I, think, I feel like I watched it like once a long time ago, like ten years ago when it came out, whatever. With the uh, the first Henry Cavill. Yeah. Yeah, that movie is real dumb. That's what half in the bag says. It's just like a bunch of it's like it's just a big headache. Yeah, and every 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 ten seconds it goes like this sound. <laughs> you know, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah, I think so. It's like. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, like, like it's like the like the all spectrum like like hit, like techno kick drum sound. Yeah. Like hits on all the frequencies. Yeah, that's it's. The new one too. Huh? In the new one too. It's in the new one. That sound. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's like every every ten seconds that sound happens. Whoa! Yeah. Something crazy huge. You know about the fake mustache? <laughs> yeah, the... I heard about that. Where was that in this one? No, I guess, I think they cut it out. I think it's not in the Snyder one. It's in the original. Yeah, they spent, like, millions and millions of dollars. Like, for the amount of money that that um, mustache was, I could definitely never work again. I think so. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. I could retire for my whole life. Yep. Based on that movie, on the money that they took out the guy's mustache. I'm, it makes me confused about what money is whenever I think about the movies. Yeah. I'm like, you spent a billion yeah. dollars on this movie? What billion. Are, huh? <laughs> a billion is a lot of money. They spent a billion dollars on the movie. They spent a thousand million dollars. Yeah, that's like, I mean, like, with one million dollars, you could probably live for your whole <laughs> life. But for $2 million, I think you could definitely live your whole life. What like, about $1,000 million? Yeah, $1,000 million, you could have 
500 people live their whole life. <laughs> like, wow. Comfortably, I think. Or you can make one movie. Yeah. Ah, priorities. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, it's pretty crazy. And it was not that good, but it was on TV. Should have turned up the volume, I guess. Yeah, oh, you know what comes out tonight? What? Kong vs. Zilla, Godzilla. Well, on, on TV? Yeah. Uh, did you did you see that? No, it comes out at HBO at midnight. Oh yeah, it's like the movie theaters. It's just HBO now. Mhm. Maybe I should get the um get a better or get my 5.1 stereo hooked up so I can have a movie theater experience. But now that all the movies are at HBO, it's like what's the point? I guess I mean I yeah you could have like found ways to watch these movies and before, but not not going to the movie theaters anymore. Did you watch the real world when that first came out on UPD? In like 1992? Yeah. No. Oh, I was they made a new one of the same time. I was chat. like six. Did you watch it? Yeah. What about it? They made a new one with the same cast. From 92? They brought them all back? Yeah, the same apartment. In Seattle? No, in New York. Oh, I thought it was Seattle. Wow. No, there were different casts, different cities. They're still alive? <laughs> yeah, they're in their 40s or 50s. I oh. don't know. Did you watch it? I watched the first episode. Are they getting real? One of them got COVID and he could only be there on a TV screen. Oh, no. Yeah. Um. That's kind of cool to see them all again. I, I don't remember them. Anyway. What were you doing, Andrew? How'd your pasta turn out? Whoa. Hello? Meatballs. You made meatballs? No, I got a, I got a big bag of meatballs from uh, a holiday season. Yeah. Frozen. You ate those with your pasta? No, I mean that's what I mean right now. Oh. Like sweet ball type deal. Meatball and what? Sweet sauce, sweet and sour. And like rice or something? No, just meatballs. Just straight meatballs? Yeah, cause I was gonna get chicken nuggets when I didn't. You need some side side dish, some kind of I think some bread or something. Ah. <laughs> sauce is a side dish. Yeah. You know what I mean? Rice? Vodka. Yeah, meatballs and vodka, huh? <laughs> How about, um, uh, uh, rice? Uh, maybe. Meatballs and rice is a good thing. I guess a meatball or spaghetti. What about your pasta? How did your pasta turn out from the other day? Pretty good. It tastes like pasta? Yeah. Turned out mm-hmm. good. Tasted like pasta. You should try it, I guess. Try and make your own pasta. It's fun. Was it a similar consistency to store pasta? Hey, what are you drinking? Water. Uh, kind of. Wait, what am I drinking? Can you see me? Are you watching YouTube? Yeah. Oh. Now you're holding something. Cocoa butter. Cocoa butter. Go go to Walmart. Yeah. Get some more. Ah, uh, it's a relief for your skin. You got you got eczema? On my leg. You do? I do. You gotta get some cocoa butter. It helps. Yeah. Okay. Like chocolate? It's kind of, but. Good, I'll show you. Maybe we'll go to Walmart on Tuesday, too. Okay. I'll show you where the cocoa butter is. Um, pasta was good, ragu sauce. You have a pull-up bar? Bar. pull-up bar? I don't have a pull-up bar. You should get one. Well, 
Why? Is this a bar? I want to do some push-ups. I'll buy you one for your birthday. <laughs> yeah, where, where am I going to put it? I going to put it in the door? Yeah. Do pull-ups? How many can you do? Uh, a lot. Ten? I can do a pull-up with one arm. Why? <laughs> Why? <Yeah. laughs> you know what? And I tried it, and then I like almost could, and I just kept trying to do it, and then I could finally do it. Do you, do you have to hold your other? You have to hold your other arm with your arm, or you just do one arm only? Uh, straight up, do one arm. I've done, I can do one at a time. I can do one on either arm. Just like bam, yeah, it's like that. What are you gonna do now? Punch yeah, people. Gonna... Yeah, fight a guy. That's all I was gonna say. <laughs> now it's time to get in a fight. You can, I guess you could go beat up a white person after they try to uh, racially attack you. Eat the same breakfast. Breakfast. Huh? Eat the same food. It. Go fight the white man. I did my daily one arm, one pull up each. Yeah? Just now. You only do one? And then I can do regular one. Can you do two? No. But you gotta you gotta keep trying, huh? <coughs> Soon, you'll one and a half. Soon you can do two. You got a pull up bar, Laura? No. <laughs> I don't know if I can do a pull up. I I was weak. The vaccine made me weak. I couldn't even pick up the garbage. But now I can. I'm I'm back to full strength. It kind of feels weird to be like I'm f I'm full strength again. Oh, like if I like like I'm a dragon <laughs> like Dragon Ball or something. Yeah. I'm back to full strength. It's a, don't eat you. <laughs> huh? I I didn't. I, I stopped eating for the past couple days. <laughs> what? <laughs> Why? No, I just didn't eat very much and I didn't feel very good. I felt really weak. You gotta eat. <laughs> yeah, you didn't eat. Uh, then, you didn't eat and then you felt weak? Yep. Yeah. Who would have thought? That's my story. What did you eat? Now you eating? You eating meatballs? Now I'm eating some meatballs. I feel, now I can do a one arm pull up. I eat, I eat, even when I wasn't feeling great from the from the vaccine I was eating, even though I'm just eating that like gr I don't know mush gruel whatever, like nu nutri meal. Yeah, one up. Huh? That food gives you a one up. Yeah, eat that not that neutral gruel food. That's what I eat with all the different food groups in it, and then just shove it in your face. It tastes good. The neutral neutral rice, rice vegetables, and meat. That's it. Yeah. That's what you need. Yeah. Nutri food. But <laughs> just eat a lot of that. That's it. That's all I eat. But it's That's different good. different vegetables and different meats. So what else is there? That's it. <laughs> what? I don't need anything else. You don't need to eat anything else. I guess you don't need to eat anything, or, yeah, you know, some, some people eat mac macaroni, and have you seen the guy on TV that eats only macaroni and cheese? <laughs> yeah, I got tummy. You seen oh, that guy? Oh, no. He's an idiot. <laughs> yeah, he's dumb as hell. <laughs> That's, like, people only That's what I would, I would say, hey, I only eat mac and cheese. You're dumb as hell. <laughs> <laughs> hey, dummy, you should eat something else. Okay, what are you eat something else, you idiot? <laughs> oh, jeez. Is he pretty overweight? Uh, yeah. I mean, he's not like, he's not like my 600-pound life, like, crazy. He's, <laughs> he's just like yeah. a regular, regular, uh, like, guy, overweight, yeah. If you're gonna, yeah. If you probably gonna... can't do a one-handed pull-up. Probably not. Yeah. If you're gonna be eat overeat, you might as well eat a variety of stuff, not yeah, just yeah. that piece. No, I don't think he was really overeating though. He was just like, <laughs> only eating that though. But uh, um, the, the one I saw, the guy only ate Velveeta. Yeah, he he ate Velveeta. <laughs> yeah, Velveeta macaroni. Oh my god, it's like plastic food. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of surprising that he could actually. Live. 
think like he would yeah. get scurvy. Yeah, scurvy and all the other bad things. Yeah. Take vitamins. Yeah, just take some vitamins alongside. I mean, I'm, I'm taking vitamins. I guess I'm gonna go to all the stores. I'm gonna re up on all the vitamins. Um, because I'm running D a little low. Huh? I've been taking vitamin D and vitamin C. How many units of vitamin D do you take? Uh, a lot. Well, do you have your bottle? Yeah, I'll go look. I take 5,000 a day. That's good. Which is a lot. Some people think it's too much, but I don't, I don't think, think it's I don't too know. much. I think too much would be a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. Oh, maybe I should just go out into the sun, though. And then and then get that that thing. Uh, Minus five thousand as well. Five thousand? Yeah. Yeah. And you're taking one every day? Yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. What brand you got? Nature oh, nature well, made? Nature It's some kind of spring baby. Spring something. I'm gonna get yeah. We'll go to we'll go to all the stores. You got a Costco card or Andrew? No, but Emily and mom do. Yeah. I guess. What happened to grandma's Costco card? She still has it. I might be able to go there. But it goes for a year. Her card goes for a year, right? I don't know. Like, maybe Costco will give us free things. Mm. Like a. Uh, maybe. Yeah, they get the refund. Um, I got I got these uh, pills. Uh, they're daily vitamins. I saw them at Costco, but I couldn't buy it, so I got it on the internet. Uh, yeah. It's got eight hundred eighty-two percent vitamin B daily value. How many units, though? I need. Huh? Fifteen milligrams. Fifteen milligrams. How many milligrams is yours? Mine's 125 MCG. Yeah, how many MCGs is yours of vitamin D? Or wait, what? No, I see you. What's the um, what's the 5,000 one? IU. How many IU is your vitamin D? What? How many IU? IU. Uh, 2,000. 2,000. Yeah. I'm taking 5,000. I'm actually taking more because I'm taking the vitamin D plus multivitamin that has it 1,000. So I'm oh, taking yeah. 6,000 a day. Wow. I'm going to get kidney stones or I'm going to start glowing. I guess it's from the sun. I'm going to be my own sun pretty soon. <laughs> Yeah. I'm gonna start glowing. I can't sleep because I, my eyes are glowing. Huh? You'll never have to go outside. Yeah, you know, that's good. I don't really go outside that much. <laughs> we'll get skin cancer. Yeah, I, mean, I should probably go outside today. Maybe I'll go after this because it is very sunny, and I guess it's my responsibility as a person to go outside every once in a while. Do you, uh, do you tan well? Do I tan well? I don't. I don't know. I don't uh, try. Tanning's for what? white. Tanning's for white people. Oh yeah. That's what I always say, huh? Remember that picture of you as a carny? You're all tan. In a what? That picture of you as a carny and you're all tan. Oh yeah, uh, that was. I was tan. That's true. I got sunburned probably too much. I was uh, out in the sun for in the middle of summer for like four, five days, for like ten hours, cooking. Yeah, that's what carnies are all leathery. <laughs> I I started reading the autobiography of Malcolm X because remember the other day you called me Kenny X. Yeah. Yeah. So now I'm reading the uh, the autobiography of Malcolm X. Huh? Does he? Angry? I don't know. I'm only in his childhood, but he had a pretty messed up childhood. What happened? White man messed up his family. Uh oh. 
Yeah. Mm. Yep. Go, go read it. Did the white man mess up your family? Yeah. All of our families. That's really kind of shit. <laughs> Everybody, even other white people. Fucking white people. Yeah, that's right. Um, yeah, I'm about to start a mo- <laughs> the, the whatever Asian um, Black Panthers, Yellow Panthers, yeah. or Yellow Tigers. I heard that's a thing, but that might be a gang. That might be a, a gang that already exists. <laughs> so, <laughs> like a gang. yeah, I'm gonna go join a gang. Basically, is what I'm saying. I don't know if they'll have me. I don't. Know, I'm pretty weak, so. <laughs> I don't really want to do anything. I just want to yell at people, I guess, on TV. <laughs> um, <laughs> you know, Yakuza is the richest gang in the world. What about like the mafia? More money. What about um, Amazon? <laughs> I guess uh, <laughs> Amazon's a business. <laughs> yeah. Also a gang? Yeah, they're a gang, no, I think. <laughs> what is it? I mean, I think that... This is kind of... I, I I do think that gun violence is high in the U.S., but they always say that the gun violence... And, like, even, like, with the virus, it's, like, the white man virus, it's, like, number one U.S. thing. But I think that they just... Re- it's, like, statistics. That they report more so that it seems like it's worse. Because I think gun violence might be worse in... Those places where there's kid armies, you know? I'm like, yeah. You're saying that the U.S. has more gun violence than those places where there's kid violence, like kid armies on the streets with the guns? And they're like, uh, yes, that's what I'm saying. I'm like, really? I don't know. I don't know about that. I think it might be statistics because they don't, they don't really count very much over there, you know? They're just running the numbers. They're like, less people died from this, but it's more children. Yeah, they don't count. They don't count things. I think... The U.S. is just always counting everything. Or they're counting a couple of things. Mm-hmm. They're choosing. People are choosing what to count. I mean, those number numbers are, you don't know. Yeah. Nobody knows about those numbers. Are you mm-hmm. gonna Are you gonna go outside? Did you go outside? Uh, not mm-hmm. really. Are you going to? No, it's a nice day. <laughs> not go outside though. Yep. <laughs> you gonna go nice outside, stuff. Laura? I think I will take a walk. It is very bright. I can see it out your window. Yeah. Oh yeah. I'm in the basement. Um. I guess I should walk though too. I live by that trail. Yeah. Yeah. Well. You want to listen to these messages, Andrew, or what you want to do? Huh? Uh, hang up. Goodbye. Bye. Goodbye. <laughs> we got a bunch of messages from Yellowfellow. Oh boy, here we go. Yeah. <laughs> oh shit! Oh man! Oh! I'm, uh, got a sweet cream cold brew, sweet cream at the top, cold brew, Yuck. extra strong, condensed iced coffee, squeeze it real tight in the fridge, and all the coffee, four times the coffee, squeeze it down, and it becomes a cold brew in the refrigerator, Yuck. and uh, you put light ice. Into a you drink coffee giant hunk of plastic that is more for yeah. drinking yeah. pleasure and convenience and novelty. You, what kind of you put cream and sugar in there? Cream and stevia. Stevia. Yeah. It's and a yeah. less less glycemic sweetener. Oh, okay. Scan and use your phone. You got the reward app. You got the little sticker. It tells me I got that large cold room. Broom? <coughs> no. Car- caramel. No caramel. I don't like caramel. I was trying to say a word about that. I don't like caramel. I think it's Jimmy and caramel. Oh! 
I think there's and a difference. Yeah. Is it different? A little bit of less oat milk. Carbon white caramel, milk. Like two less things. ice. White oat milk. 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 Sweet foam. A sweet cream. Sweet cream foam. A sweet cream foam. Less ice. And here, I gotta go through this traffic circle. <laughs> and I put my uh, cap and put on my cap and turn on my turn signal. Alright. Uh. Mm, He's had too much cold brew. Huh? He's had too much cold brew. Yeah. Look at how go, 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 go. You have for the year daily LA King program. Hold on. Yeah, the app, you'll maybe get a little pocket change, and you could it would be a new like format for the show. It'd be a little be a bit of an experiment for you to um, dip your toes into the world of advertising. I don't know. Um, oh, I'm running out of time for my message. I was gonna talk about a lot of important stuff. Oh, you left Shit. a second message and third message anyway, so. <laughs> I drink black coffee. I like strong black coffee. It's good for your liver. Black coffee? Yeah. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Kenny, um, I keep seeing three, three, three everywhere. Three, three, three. More than I've ever seen it in my life. Three, three, three. It's <clears throat> all so on the highway. See every time I look at the time, every single time I look at the time, every single time I look at the time, three, 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 three. What do you think about that? What I don't do think it's that? true that you, because of what it, Anybody thoughts about that? Are you staying up till 3 a.m.? What do you think about that? <laughs> what do you think about that? Three, three, three. I don't think three, so. Three, three. He's three, kind of three. obsessed. Three, About the three, 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 three. Have you ever seen the number 23 with Jim Carrey? No. Hi, Kenny. Uh, I just wanted to let you know that I reached out for uh, help and assistance, help and assistance from um, uh, mental and behavioral health uh, specialists. So three cheers for me. <clears throat> Congratulations. <clears throat> right? Um, sure. I always tell people to just, if you're, you're you're having that kind of thing, just call me. Call you? Call me. I'm, I call the program. For, oh. Uh, so you can be crazy on TV? <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez. I'll work through your phone, but you don't have to talk. You can be anonymous. <laughs> Frazier, you know? Frazier? Yeah. You know Frazier? Yeah. He's like a psychologist on TV. The subscriber you have called is not available. Please leave a message after the tone. Yo, fellow. How's your coffee? How's your therapy? <laughs> coffee therapy. How's your mind? Um, call me back. Let me, let me, uh, next time you go to the therapist, you could, we could, you could call me and then we could have a three, a, a chat too. I want to talk to your therapist. Okay, bye. Make sure he's good enough, you know, or she, or they. We can, we can, uh, screen your therapist. Yeah. And then say, <laughs> hey, tell me about your mother. Huh? Like. <laughs> Yeah, turn the tables. 
Yeah. So if I ever get to go to therapy and say, so, uh, tell me about your mother. Tell me about your mother! <laughs> what are you talking about your mother? I'm, ex <laughs> I'm, say, I'm, I'm experiencing a lot of hostility from I'm experiencing a lot of hostility from you! <laughs> it's like repeat, repeat what people say angrily. Hey, program. Hey, program. Hey, Freddy, how are ya? I'm doing good. Um, I... I'm getting a little echo. Is that on my end? I'm getting a little echo. Um, I don't know. Yeah, it wasn't happening until you called, I guess. Oh yeah, I'm uh, I'm in the yard and I'm working and uh, pulling up weeds. I was talking about um, instead of communicating, you just repeat what the last person said, but angry. Just repeating what the last person said, but angry. <laughs> I guess it only worked <laughs> once. You can't just like, keep repeating. We can be angry, like like back and forth. Just like, they say the same thing, but more and more angry forever. <laughs> yeah, that sounds like a fun way to pass the hour. Yeah, yeah. Um, um I think that the uh, yeah, it is those things that you know. Uh, it's not a monologuing type situation. You kind of got to have a. You got to have someone else. To repeat their words angrily first. Mm -hmm. The um uh the file thing seems to have worked. That's good. So, um, it's a simple thing. It's nice. Now you can submit all sorts of stuff. And I'm doing it all. Uh, who knows what they wouldn't play? You know, they'll play anything on TCTV. Yeah. I'm, I'm actually going to be on TCTV tonight uh, on the city council meeting. Really? Why? Um, I'm I'm now chair of the art commission. What? Yeah, I'm the I'm the chair. That's the head. Uh, yeah, uh, I guess so. The chair, you're the you're chair, like chairman. This is what they call it, kind of, right? Yeah, I'm chairman. Chairman of the board. Chairman of the commission. Is it a board? Uh, it's not really a board. What's the difference? It's a commission. Like, if I was a board, if it was a board, I'd be chairman of the board, but it's not a board. TCTV, TV, TCTV has a board, right? Yeah, they do. They, we're looking for people to join. You want to, you know, be I on the board? I tried. They, they didn't have me. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's right. Yeah, I applied. I applied. I feel like they're in a tighter spot than they were back then, though. I applied more than once. Oh. <laughs> they said no. I don't know. I don't think. I think they know me. They know me too well to put me on the board. You know, like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like you're not gonna do. What are you gonna do on the board? I want. I mean, I don't know what I would do to the board. I would do crazy. I will. I. I. I shouldn't be on the board. You know, the thing about the board is it's really hard to do really crazy stuff, because my experience, at least in the city government, is that you're pretty much, you're on a track. They've already, you know, you're like, lots of other commissioners over the years have already kind of designed the tracks that you're on, and you can kind of steer slightly, but not really much, you know? There's not much. Yeah. Cause, and then there's like a lot of, there's usually eight other people. And then you kind of have to be doing all the same thing. And so if someone's trying to do something crazy, everyone else is like, oh, maybe let's not do the crazy thing. And they can't. Um, did but you, did tonight you get... I am going to be presenting the next uh, sculptures in the Plinth Project. So uh, we're going to be showing, getting um, the city council to hopefully approve our collection of sculptures to go on the... Um, go on to the boardwalk there. Live? What? Yeah, live. We're yeah. on Zoom? On Zoom, right, yep. Oh, live on Zoom? Yep. Um, I'll have to tune into that. Is it? Script. The they wrote me a script. Plinth. Plinth. Um, did you have to get elected? Plinth. Plinth. <laughs> uh, yes. I guess elected. I don't know. I'm not really sure. We're actually going through the process right now of selecting more commissioners. 
uh, and you have to be interviewed. I don't think there's a vote necessarily. I mean, there's a vote in the sense that, like, I think the people who are interviewing you probably fill out something and vote. It's volunteer in that way, but not like I'm not elected in the in the voting way. Yeah. Oh, and how did I get to be the chair? You mean? Yeah. Well, the other chair was stepping down, and nobody else wanted to do it. <laughs> oh, he had so he didn't have to. Yep. Was, um, un, uh, contested? What do they call it in politics? Yeah, I guess that was uncontested. Well, what do you call it? Like, I it was. I was basically. I said I don't think that I'm actually. Um, you know, have enough experience to really do this. I mean, I don't think that there's other people who've been on the commission for longer than I have, but um, nobody else wanted to, and I guess I said I was willing. Um, it's been interesting, that's for sure. I'm learning a lot. At the last meeting I went to, I, I forgot to, um, you know, you have to get someone to, you like, make a motion, have someone make a motion, mm -hmm. and then you have... Uh, Someone seconds the motion, and then I forgot to do this. You're supposed to have everyone say, you say, all in favor, say aye, and they say aye, and like all opposed, and then, and then that's like how you officially get the thing passed. But I forgot to get everyone to say yay or nay, like for every single motion we did last last meeting. So that wasn't good. Oh yeah. So then what? They it didn't nothing counted. Uh, I guess. I was afraid that it wasn't going to count, but the staff liaison, who's kind of the person who helps manage everything, I was like, I think that we can just safely assume, based on the discussion that led up to each little motion, that everyone was of the same thoughts. But if it was more of a, you know, it could have, it could have been pretty bad, which is it would have been awful because it was like a long meeting. All in favor? Yeah. I, yeah. I? Hey. Hey. <laughs> hey. You say, I second that emotion. I second that emotion. Yeah. Um, I, but you say, I, or A, it's not I? A, I? Or you say, all in favor, I. say I. I. Like a pirate? All in favor, say I. A. A? Isn't it, well, just spelled A Y E, isn't it? I. I thought it was like I, I I I cap. Yeah, like a pirate. Like I I like I. Or or I, like, yeah. All you you say that like I'm agreeing. I. Right. Who agrees I, with this? Oh. A. I, I guess you would say. Well, blue, anyway, me? That's, Rob, that's something called Robert's rule, and it's how you manage a meeting. It's like there's these things called Robert's rule. Yeah, who's Robert? I didn't. Yeah. I don't know. Some guy made these rules. Came up with all the rules. Um, so that's pretty good. Yeah. So we can get on the art commission. It's all volunteer, right? Yeah, but there are already people already applied. It's basically like a job application. Mm. Got to fill out all this stuff, and then you oh. say why you're good at or why you're a good pick, and they're. Um, you know who is? I don't know. Do you remember Dominica? She was a DJ on Dance with a Dance. She's one of the people who's uh, in the running right now. So. Oh, yeah, that'd be good. The Italo Disco DJ. Yeah. yeah. We need a Italo Disco DJ on the board. Commission, I mean. Maybe it's a board. I don't know. What makes it a board or what? I don't know. Yeah, board or commission. I mean, they're similar. You yeah. They're Freddy. Say again? You could be com Commissioner Freddy, like Commissioner Gordon on yeah. Batman. Oh yeah, I'm Commissioner Freddy. That's right. You're, oh, well, you're on the Art Commission, Commissioner Chair. Chair though, Chair is like a, a, a big, a big thing. Do they have a? Is there a, like a actual table with a chair? Like, well, we're all doing it on Zoom, so. Oh. No. Hmm. And I think it's the same type of chair that you sit in as everyone else, I'm pretty sure. What shape? Basically, it means I run the meeting, and uh, then I have to show up for city council and go to all these other meetings that are, like, 
sort of art commission adjacent. Are they doing arts walk? What art stuff? Isn't that like the big? Isn't that like the big thing that the commission does is like run arts walk? Yeah. Mm hmm Although, that's really more of a staff thing, you know. It's like there's Angel Neva who's the who runs. She works for the city. She kind of does the art walk and now it's arts month it starts on april 1st there's going to be arts month for a whole month and it's like arts walk because they're not doing procession of species right i mean yeah be in the maybe we should uh what day is it the 30th today is the 30th maybe we should get on this arts month with the studio downtown yep well, well, I'll be do I'll be doing things on like starting. I guess I already made plans with my brother on the program for the sixth, which is one day shy of my actual day. But I'm going to be doing stuff anyway. Nice. Yeah, it's probably. I mean, if you're good on the seventh, you're probably good on the sixth. Honestly. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Did you gotten the vaccine yet? My brother got. My brother got on the same day as I did. Oh, wow. He was actually on the phone. We were talking to Laura, or like I was talking to Laura on the program, and then I called my brother on the program. I was like, well, go down there, too. Nice. You can do a one-handed pull, I said. think pretty soon my, everyone in my house has got their first shot at least. So my whole house is going to be vaccinated pretty soon. Yeah, I heard in May that um, uh, it's going to be just, like, wide open. Wow. So... And it's already, it seems pretty wide open to me, like, more, more people, it seems like more people than not have gotten some of it to me, like, in my life. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta want it, though, I mean, I feel like I, I talk to a lot of people who've been working at home, and they're like, whoa, you got it? They just, like, they just have been told that they're not, uh, if they're not able to get it, and so they're just like, oh, you must not be able to get it, but then... They probably could if they tried. Yeah, I don't know what I would. I guess I would be trying. Or no, I would have gotten it from my work. Everybody at my work got it, and they all like they kind of helped. Like my work helped the people at my work get it because I think it's beneficial for them too. But uh, I yeah, I would have gotten it through them if I didn't get it when I did. So I would have. That's how I would. Did they do it. anything like stagger the the times when the employees get it? So they can have the day off when they are uh, the day after. Uh, nope. <laughs> so that's that's something that I'm recommending to everyone to do. That would be good, but we're gonna see. I guess in a few weeks. Well, there's like a few, yeah, a few of us at different. They got it at different times. Only like maybe there's like I don't know, ten people and like four people got it on the same day. So. I might just be working overtime. I'm working all the time right now because of that stuff and also, yeah, working all the time. I'm going to have worked 10 out of 12 days here um, at the coffee shop by this coming Saturday. What a crazy time. I know. I'm a real worker now. I thought that I was a part-time worker, but I'm a full-time worker now. And the scariest thing is I don't even, I can see how you can get used to it, you know? It's easy to get used to when there's nothing happening in the world. I guess that's true. Like, yeah. I'm going to record message to the future. Hey, future, it's just the past. Hey, future. I'm hey, pulling future. weed. Will I do a one arm pull up? How many one arm <laughs> pull ups can you do? Uh, saying, repeating what the other person said, but angry. Repeating what the other person said, but angry. Bye, future. <laughs> <laughs> That's um, a good one. Yeah. That'd be good. Uh, I gotta get, get coffee. I want coffee. I gotta make some coffee. Black coffee. That's what I drink. Yeah, don't, what? Drink what, don't drink what yellow fellow was drinking. Yeah, yellow fellow was drinking some some frou frou cream uh, ice thing. 
He's getting uh, like a cappuccino. Yeah. Anybody ever say, I'll, I'll get one of those frou-frou ice cream latte whipped up deals there. <laughs> yeah, we got rid of the ice cream at my coffee shop. Yeah, because of, of the women virus or just... Be... Uh, mm, no, we're getting this thing called a Turbo Chef so that we can heat up pastries and stuff. Yeah, that's what I have, the Turbo Chef. Turbo Chef. I love the name of the Turbo Chef. That's such a cool name. It's a... Um, Turbo Chef. It's a convection oven. It's uh, basically an air fryer. Oh, really? Yep. This might oh, change wow. my lunch routine, you know? Maybe I can just use the air fryer and cook my own food there. Yeah, you could. I, I, have, an, I have the Turbo Chef in my work. Be careful. So we replaced our ice cream freezer. We re took out the ice cream freezer, and there's going to be a Turbo Chef going. Uh, going hot. Went going hot instead of cold, yeah. huh? <laughs> yeah, right in time for the summer. Yeah. People are kind of confused why we don't have ice cream now all of a sudden. I remember you had a really, or uh, like there was like a year when you were having a really difficult time with your toaster oven. Remember that? With my toaster oven? I just felt like you were getting burned. You got burned like more than <laughs> once. Oh, I think that was when I lived with Jackson, yeah. Yeah, and the toaster I don't really have a toaster oven anymore. I think probably for the best. Yeah, but the toaster oven was burning you like often. Uh, and it was burning me badly because I was like, reaching to get something and it burned me. Yeah, I'd be like, how are you? I'd be like, I'm burned again. I've been burned. <laughs> oh my god, you yeah. get burned every week, so be careful around that turbo shaft. Because oh, yeah. um, people people have been burned. I, I haven't been burned. I'm not going to knock on anything, but I've seen, I've seen people get burned. No knocking, but no burns either. Yeah, no burns, please. Whew. Hard work. Man. Outside, is it warm? It's probably warm. It's very sunny. Yeah, it's warm. And there's just, there's just, oh my god, so many of these weeds. It's a hairy bitter crest. Hairy bitter crest. Hairy. It's all over the. So many of them. But I, they like, have I told you about this plant yet before? Um, no. They, it's, uh, they have a really fast life cycle. I think it's like 60 days. And so, basically, they just go to seed really quickly and then make more flowers and so, more of these things, more of the bittercress, and, um, that just can take over the yard. There's just... Thousands. I've probably pulled ten. I don't know. Can you have pulled ten thousand plants? I don't know. Maybe I've pulled a thousand plants today. Wow. Plus plants. Thousand. Is it? I don't know. Maybe. Is it I don't food? know. I've filled up like two wheelbarrows. So. Wow. That seems like a lot. Where Where is that? In somebody else's yard? Yeah. So it was in my yard too. I was doing this yesterday in my own yard just for just for practice, I guess, or because. Now I I feel like I've made a uh, a, a plant based enemy. Is that like the, like the your traditional weed, the hairy one? No, the one that it's like you're talking like the kind of thing that looks like a dandelion, but it doesn't have a flower. And it's kind of looks hairy. Yeah, I know this one. The one that I'm pulling out is called hairy bittercress. It's not really that hairy, as far as I can tell. Mm. Uh, no, this one does have sort of like radial leaves in the same way that the one you're talking about does. Uh, but it has, it's like a single, it has like a vertical shoot that has a flower on it, little white flowers. Um, but they, they really, they like, especially if they're in a spot where the grass is not doing well, they like, they shade out the grass. They cover up the grass so it can't get light, and uh, they just spread like anything. Oh, gotta get you to go check out that uh, check out my grandmother's house. My brother oh lives shoot, there. yeah, I should be able to do that. It's a good work thing. Now I'm working so much at the coffee shop; it's been hard to find time to do my other gigs. Yeah. But I really would. I will do that just next week. Good. Maybe Tuesday. Tuesday, yeah. The six. Uh, it's like oh, that, cause that's your day. That's your actual day. Oh uh, yeah, I'll be I'll be uh, vaccinated. 
And that would be like the day wow. the day before my technical day. So maybe next maybe now yeah, next Tuesday we could go do. Oh yeah. Well, you maybe you want to go. You want to go. You want to go to Lakewood? I guess Laura, are you gonna go to Lakewood? Uh, no, I can't go on a Tuesday, but oh. thanks for inviting me. Well, you want to go on a, next Tuesday, me and my brother are going to go to Lakewood, Freddie. Oh, cool. You're invited. Thank you. I'm going to work uh, at, at this job next Tuesday, but then after I'm done, I will come over, maybe meet you after you get back from Lakewood and look at the yard. Nice. Plans. I have plans now in my life. What time are I'm you I'm excited. Going? I didn't. I, it's like hard oh. to imagine. I'm gonna go into this person's house that I work for, and I'm not gonna wear a mask. It's because it says I can do that. Next week. Yeah. Yeah. Next Tuesday. So. I think I'm still. That's pretty good. I mean, yeah. I'm probably still gonna wear a mask. I guess not. At, at, well, I don't know. I guess you have to wear a mask in public. Yeah, I'm gonna wear a mask anywhere out but in public, but in this specific situation, I think I can not wear a mask. I can be around her and her husband and not wear a mask. Because that's what, I think the CDC said that. So, wow. instead of getting mentally prepared for that, which is weird. I know. That's kind of, I don't know, I don't know if I want to, like, face people like that. It's like, feels like almost embarrassing or something. I'm like, oh. Like, <laughs> still me. It's okay if I uh, have my butthole out like Yeah, you. it's your butthole. So, I'm going to feel like, hey, you're a... Uh, <laughs> Butthole showing, you know, like, oh no, I'm sorry, I'm talking, like, I don't want to show that. Well, the show's about over. We only got like a minute left, so thanks, and Andrew and Freddie and Laura and the yellow fellow. Thanks. Thank you for calling me. This is a nice, nice something to do while I'm pulling all these weeds. Yeah, my pleasure. Um, what are you gonna do with all those weeds? Take them to the yard waste dump. Take them to the dump. And then, right now they're just going to go in the back of a pickup truck, an old pickup truck that's here, 1970 Chevy pickup. And then uh, next week on Tuesday, I'm going to drive them out to the dump. Oh, all right. And then what do they do, compost them? Yeah, then they turn them into mulch. Mulch, and then you can go get the mulch if you want the mulch. And then I'll take the mulch, yeah, exactly. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye. It's Tuesday. Bye. We're on TCTV channel 22, 1130, and 2am. Whitey should be on YouTube. Yeah. 360-363-4. Call me message. You're on TV. Yeah. Whitey should be on dot com. Check it out. Blue Horizon. It's a good song. Thank you. TCTV, LaBebe, Jordy Fabo, Soka Books, Four Star Video, Michael Carpenter, Mount Boards Northwest, Stop5.com, Just Cow, Watch the USA, thank you, and Drew Zero watching, thank you. Hey, John, call me. Hell yeah, dog. Bye.